it is amazing what you can get at Goodwill with $5. I got these glasses. I love them. <laughs> Welcome to Rumble Book Club. I'm your host, Michael Hernandez, and this is the show where a normal guy like me can talk about interesting books I've read, old and new, good and bad. So if you like the show, you like the content, you like the books that I talk about, or maybe like ZZ Top, you like some cheap sunglasses too. Well, you've come to the right place, my friend. You can follow me on Twitter, Parlor, and TikTok, or you can follow me right down below on YouTube and Rumble. But more importantly, be a part of the conversation, share these videos with your friends, help our channel grow, help us share more books with friends, and comment also down below. Let me know if there's any books you want me to read, any books you'd like me to cover on the show, and I might even give you a shout out for recommending me to a good book. Small note, I actually realized I messed up the audio on my last video. For that, I apologize, but I am only human. Today we're going to cover a great book that I read for the first time in high school, and uh, I'm glad I finally come around to doing a review, because now I get to share it with you. Today we're going to take a look at... Flags of Our Fathers by James Bradley. James Bradley is an author, public speaker, and he's the son of John Doc Bradley, who was one of the flag racers in the famous photo on Mount Suribachi during the Battle of Iwo Jima. This is the harrowing co collection of accounts of primarily U.S. Marines and U.S. Navy and photographers who stormed the beach, beach of Iwo Jima to secure the first bit of actual Japanese soil during World War II on the Pacific Theater. We're going to get into our three-part criteria of the book, starting with the aesthetics, how it looks, how it pops off the shelf, uh, next going into our readability, uh, how it reads for just a normal person, uh, not just mentally, but also physically, how, how it physically reads, uh, how the pages look. Uh, then uh, finally, we're going to get into our content, what it's like cover to cover, what kind of information or what story you're actually getting. Now let's start with the aesthetics. I rarely get movie covers, uh, books that, that have the, the movie uh, movie release on the cover. I, I think it's kind of gaudy and the cover typically sucks. Uh, in this case though, I did make an exception. The cover doesn't suck in this case. Uh, the cover is simple with the iconic photo here of the, the raising of the American flag, washed of most of the colors save for the piercing blue of the cloudy sky, and uh, the slight colors here of the beautiful red, white, and blue. The title is prominent. Uh, the author is, is softly emphasized here. I, I'm not a fan of uh, kind of the extra bit of text here, but you can kind of expect that. Uh, you can expect a book that just got made into a movie to, to really sell itself a little bit. But overall, a very, very strong nine out of 10. Man, I just can't stop wearing them. They're amazing. Now let's take a look at the readability. Many historical and military books can kind of get you lost in a huge list of, of names and, and numbers from battalions and companies to, to weapons and cities. You can get overexposed to, to many of the names. Uh, in fact, so many names that, that you just start to blur out a bit as you read. I, I've read quite a few and, and some of them actually do kind of lean that way. Now, Bradley writes this book up so well that you don't get any of that typical experience in any way whatsoever. He breathes life into every person and color into every story. You learn so much about the Pacific theater of the war without being overwhelmed by too much information that you're not able to absorb. Physically, there's good margins here. You've got off-color white pages with clear font. And then there's uh, one thing I, I really like is there's multiple photo banks here that, that really bring the faces of these boys to life and I use that term boys in all seriousness because this was hardly a group of you know men this was primarily boys between the ages of you know 17 18 years old to to uh, you know mid 20s you know for all intents and purposes these were boys going into war as men so as far as the readability goes it's a perfect sto score 10 out of 10 now let's take a look at the content the book follows primarily the main six men uh, five Marines and one Navy corpsman who raised the American flag on Iwo Jima on the top of Mount Suribachi in the first week of the battle. This has become one of, if not the most famous picture of any war in American history and an image that is proudly presented by the United States Marines as one of its uh, primary recruiting tools. What Bradley does a phenomenal job with is paying the most respectful tribute to the men who served and lost their lives on the island while also giving perspective of many facts the public never was truly aware of. One of those instances is uh, that the photo we saw was not exactly as spontaneous as it was led to be. There was a prior flag planted on the mountain as soon as it was captured by the Americans. 
but in an attempt to protect the flag from officers who only wanted to glorify themselves. Not only uh, that, but uh, as a way to boost morale, they sent a second and bigger flag up to the mountain to be hung for a, a second time. The men who raised the famous flag were USMC Harlan Block, Ira Hayes, Rennie Gagnon, Franklin Susley, and Mike Strank, and Navy Corpsman John Bradley. The photo was taken during the first week of the battle, and yet the Japanese dug viciously in for another month afterward. Using innovative techniques and um, also knowledge of the Americans that was implemented by Lieutenant General Tadamichi uh, Kurabayashi, I'm probably butchering the name for that, I apologize. Uh, the Japanese burrowed deeply into the soft black sand of the island, the volcanic uh, kind of ash-like sand of the island, uh, in bunkers in mining tunnels, because it was a mining island, uh, to allow a majority of the U.S. troops onto the island before unleashing a hellfire of machine gun fire, uh, mortar rounds, and um, you know all kinds of lethal artillery. This created mass casualties while allowing the Japanese to disappear and reappear for weeks at a time through this intense system of, of, of tunnels that was preset there and that they expanded on uh, weeks before the arrival. Within a week of the famous photo being taken, three men, Harlan Block, Mike Strank, the, who was the beloved leader of the group, uh, and also was a, um, a Czech citizen originally, and he immigrated to America, and Franklin Susley were killed. Bradley sheds light on the three remaining flag bearers, uh, Ira Hayes, Rennie Gagnon, and John Bradley, not just for the duration of the war as they were celebrated as heroes despite their guilt at at surviving unscathed for the most part, um, but also in the years following their service, what happened afterwards, who struggled with the grief the most, uh, who, who was able to slowly bring themselves back into American life. One thing that really stuck, stuck out to me was actually a very small tidbit, almost an insignificant piece of the piece of the book, but Bradley makes a note. Uh, there was a, a pilot of, of one of the planes going down towards um, towards the island to, to bomb it in the early stages of the war. He was shot down. And as his plane is going into a, a full dive to crash, he's going to die. His fellow pilots could hear him on the radio waves singing at the top of his lungs as he's crashing towards his doom. And that kind of fearlessness really just, it, it sheds light on the courage in the face of certain death that these boys had. It's heartbreaking, it's inspiring, and a groundbreaking book about the war with Japan. As far as the content goes, it's a no-brainer. It's a perfect score, 10 out of 10. I found this book at uh, Barnes & Noble. You could probably still find it there. There's probably plenty of copies at your local bookstore. Uh, if not, check secondhand, uh, secondhand shops near you. And then if worse comes to worst, then take a glance at uh, Amazon and eBay. The book is Flags of Our Fathers by uh, James Bradley. It is a wonderful book. It should be on everybody's shelf. Go out and get yourself a copy. Thanks for watching, everybody. Go read something.